the good. The bad. The ugly. Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes take on the Nebraska Cornhuskers in the home opener and throw another W on the schedule. This is the Good, Bad, and Ugly film review. Let's get right into it. The Good. All right, before we get started, just to let everybody know, these videos are demonetized due to the footage that we use. All coaches asking that you hit the like button, hit the share button, and subscribe. We're on the road to 35,000, just about 100 away. So make sure you knock that out. Let's go ahead and get this thing rocking, man. Let's see what these Buffaloes talking about. Here we are, 10-17 in the first quarter. It's third and 10. Nebraska has the ball. Uh-oh, mishap right there. Jeff Sims fumbles the snap. Colorado Buffaloes pick it up inside their territory. Right there, this is a tale of two halves. You definitely saw Nebraska self-destruct during this football game. And it's so crazy, you know, that Colorado had an opportunity to just pounce on this deal. Third and 10 right now, 726 left in the first quarter, 0-0. Zero, zero. Shador is dropping back. But here's what I love about this play right here, right? He feels the pressure, right? They lose the edge. He goes inside. Here's the great part about Shador Sanders and his ability. His ability to flip his hip when he goes against the grain. What do I mean? When he goes against the grain, that means you're rolling to your left, being a right-handed quarterback. Watch this hip flip so he can get enough velocity on this ball to throw this thing on a line to Travis Hunter here. Watch this. Flips his hip and drives that thing. Bing! Right there for the first down. And that's what's important, keeping the drive alive. Great tackle right here. Got cut off. But this is a great tackle right here, third and seven, right? Stopping it, killing the drive. Nebraska has to now punt the ball. Third and 12 situation. They empty this deal out. Everybody knows that this guy can run the ball. Nobody here but the referee. But at the end of the day, it doesn't necessarily really matter. Seven is here, throws it underneath. Now I'm going to talk about this. I thought it was a very good concept from Nebraska. A lot of people are going to say, well, that's a pick route, coach. You are going to see this guy get picked off, right? He's going to get picked off. He's playing the man. He's going to get picked right here. But here's why this is important. Because he's behind the line of scrimmage. He can actually block. Okay? He doesn't have to act like he's catching the ball. He can actually block him because he's behind the line of scrimmage. So you see he's going with him. Unfortunately, he can't make sure to do a miss in the open field. Gets tackled. Great pursuit right there by the Buffaloes. Punt team. Another catastrophic failure here by Nebraska. <laughs> Snaps the ball into the motion guy, 44. You know, I, I mean, I, I, I've never seen the team just self-destruct as bad as I've seen Nebraska, but that's exactly what you have. Look, third and five. Now it's fourth and probably eight. You got to punt this ball again, man. Oh, I'm sorry. They're going for the field goal. Here we are, the field goal. Murphy's Law for Nebraska. I got to be straight up, man. Not taking any credit from Colorado. They did their thing. But my goodness. Here you go. Field goal shot. You're going to see this thing. He's going to get it off. Kicks the ball. Looks like he's about to hook inside. You can't really see this. But it hits the upright. And as you see the referees, it's no good. No good. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. This first half was all about Nebraska shooting themselves in the foot offensively. I have to say this. Their defense did stand up, but unfortunately for nothing. Here we are. Another another mishap here by Jeff Sims, the quarterback. Drops the snap. Boom. They end up picking it up. The Buffaloes pick it up. I believe that's Dominic, if I'm not mistaken. Changes the whole deal of the game halfway through the second quarter. I mean, the momentum meter was off the rocker for the Buffaloes. Here we go. Big field goal right here. Fourth and five. 428 left in the game. In the half, rather. Kicks this deal right up the gut. Jace Feely right down the middle. Right into the student section, I guess, back there. Great job. 3 nothing for the Colorado Buffaloes. 251 left in the half. It's a lot of football to be played with just under three minutes to go. Watch this. Here we are again. This is huge 
and a big mistake. I, I, I'm not understanding what, what Jeff Sims is looking at. The, the Colorado uh, Buffalo's defense played it extremely well. It's third and 12. I get it, right? Trying to make a play. But you threw this late, and my man comes in here, scoops this ball. I know he wish he could have stayed in bounds, but he didn't. Right there, perfectly, man. Turn that thing back over again. Coming back on the ensuing possession. Here you're going to see a great, great route right here by this gentleman, number six. Great blocking up front. Look at the protection. They only bring in three. So you have five on three right now, right? Six on three, excuse me. You got double, triple, and a single block right here. Gives Should do a plenty of time for this crossing route. Look where this crossing route comes from. This is the gentleman that catches the ball. He works himself all the way across the field to about the five-yard line. That goes to show you got plenty of blocking. Look at that. Touchdown right after first and 10. Great job right there. Dawson for the touchdown. One minute, basically one minute left in the half. Here we go again. Third and 17. You got to get off the field, Buffs. And that's exactly what they do. I mean, Jeff Sims, when he plays, I don't think he's thinking the game. He's not a situational guy. Colorado has one timeout left. You're on your side of the field. Here's the deal. Slide and bounds. You're not going to get the first. Slide and bounds. Force Colorado to take a timeout. They don't do that. These are great plays by Colorado. Making the play gets him out of bounds. It stops the clock, right? You know the new rule. Under two minutes, the clock stops, especially when you go out of bounds. But it's fourth down. You have to punt. Well, you give Colorado Shadur Sanders with that cannon of arm and his accuracy is in there. Enough chance to do what? Put another three on the board. One second left in the half. 31-yard attempt. Pretty much a chip shot. Right down the gut again. Colorado leads the half. 13 to nothing. And, and I have to say this. <laughs> going into this with all of the turnovers they had, you would have thought this thing would have been doggone 35 to nothing at this point. And like I said, Nebraska's defense did hold up. But it couldn't hold up long enough. Third and 15 as we get into the second half. Empty set here. I want you to pay attention to right here. This is Travis Hunter. I, I, I still don't understand why people try to single cover this guy. He was the number one player coming out. He showed he's still a dog now. They're going to try to cover him with this safety. This is the safety they're trying to cover him with. Great blocking. Gets out of it. Let's go. Let's throw this 70-30 ball. These are not 50-50 balls when it comes to 12. These are 70-30 balls, man. These are 70-30 balls. Great way to keep your eyes downfield, man. 13-7. 8.53 left in the third quarter. Third and 10. The Buffs got to keep the chains moving. They bring the all-out blitz, the one-on-one. I don't know what the cornerback was thinking. He was asleep back here. All right, let's pay attention to this. Great defense so far as, hey, heels on the first down, right? Let's keep everything in front of us. He's so flat foot he doesn't even move. He, a, a weaver actually eats his cushion up so bad. They're bringing the blitz. They're bringing the pressure. Can't block everybody. Shador is responsible for him. Everybody else takes care of this. But, look, he's so flat footed he's done. Shador puts it up. Under throws it just a hair. But understand, he's under duress. But guess what? Weaver with a huge catch, man. Huge catch. Another third and 10 situation in the red zone. Again, watch this hip flip. Mm. Great karaoke. And let's talk about this. This is Weaver. I believe this is Weaver coming across all the way from here. Look at the protection. Coming across, finding himself open. But watch this karaoke hip flip right here and gets the velocity on this thing and drills it in there. Boom, touchdown. Woo-wee. Touchdown right there for the buffs. Oh, great end zone shot of this. You're going to see this is actually Weaver coming across right here. Look at the protection. It's all sewn up. <laughs> My man Dylan Edwards out there chopping wood. They leave the edge open. You're going to see Weaver. This is him still working. Him still working. Doesn't stop and fits right in the gut, man. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Second and eight. The buffs are up now 20 to seven. 425 left in the third. Great run right here by Dylan Edwards. He takes advantage. They got a soft edge. Well, guess what? I'm going to holler at you. Makes him miss, outruns him, and let's hit the gas, dog. Big 35-yard run right there to convert for the first down. All right. Beginning of the fourth quarter, first and 10. 
Nebraska has the ball. Here we go. Another shot in the foot, right? A cut, a death by a thousand cuts for Nebraska. The handoff gets sloppy. They misplace it. Falls out. Buffaloes fall on the ball again. Another turnover right there. I mean, we're talking about momentum killers, morale killers, and everything else. First and 10, 10 53 left in the fourth. Great play right here. Great design on the reverse little end around. Okay. Going to fake the shovel pass. Fake the option. Great design. Fake the shovel. Going to fake the option. It looks like he's throwing the option. And he uh, gives the end around right here. Poor little Timmy. He finna get splattered. Skeet. He finna break his knees. Uh -uh. Excuse me. Touchdown. Holla at you. <laughs> I'm loving it, man. Great job, Colorado. Excellent job against the Corn Huskers. Two point conversion. Even though this didn't count, right? They considered a drop ball, but but what number two does right here? Shador Sanders does with his legs and his ability to keep his eyes downfield. Look, missed one tackle. Watch this. Missed two tackles, three tackles, four tackles. Stays in bounds to throw this thing. Just a little bit short. He scoops it off the ground, right? They give it to him at first, but they go back, look at it, and it says no. But I had to put that in as the good because, my man, number two is legendary, huh? I'm loving it. 8.02 left in the fourth quarter. Fourth and nine. You got to get off the field. Watch my man Bentley get busy right here, right? Got to hit it was what they call a key blitz, right? I'm paying attention to him. I'm focused on him. He want to stay in that block. No problem. Now let me turn on. <clears throat> Funk him over with. Turnover on downs. Get up out of here, man. Third and six. Got to turn this deal over. We ain't done the scoring yet. Weaver with the screen. And here's what I love about it. He reads it. They play it pretty good coming off. You're going to see this guy come. He doesn't even see this block, but Weaver does. And what I like about it, he keeps it tight. Uh, done. Let's go. Look at the old lineman getting downfield. Makes them miss. <laughs> Wish he, I know he wish he could have kept his feet, man, but great play right there by him. Look at his ability to keep. I mean, Shador does a great job keeping the plays alive, man. They're bringing only four here. Got plenty of guys blocking. Second and 20. And, and, and here's what I like about Shador, what people have to really understand. He understands the game, right? He knows this guy is barreling down. But I got to be able to plant my feet so I could drive this. I know I'm going to take this shot. I got a guy barreling down coming right here in, the, in your screen in a second. But he know he has pressure back there. Plants his, plants it and drives that ball in there. Great job, man, to the tight end, uh, Harrison. Third and three. Come on, let's convert this deal, baby. Let's make it happen. Got happy feet. Great job. Coach, I don't just throw touchdowns, coach. I run him too. Puts him in conflict. Is he going to go with Dylan? Guess what? He can't stop me. Don't stop till I get enough. Why? <laughs> like my daddy. Oh, that boy out there priming out there like his daddy. Go ahead too, man. Good job, brother. All right. Another big time run. Let's talk about this guy right here. This is a great play. The defensive end is in no man's land. If he doesn't take the, if he doesn't take the running back and come down the line, right? Or he doesn't take he doesn't take the quarterback as well. That's a big problem. He's in no man's land. So now you create this cutback lane. So I want to make sure I look at it right quick. He comes off. He has to. He has to. And what I thought he should have done, come down the line. Why? You got an overhang guy right here in case the quarterback pulls it. So right here, if he comes down the line, he can stop this. If Shador pulls it, you got a guy coming right here. But he decides to come up the field. That gives him enough time to get through that and get up the field for a good run. Great job right there. That is the good. Let's get to the bad. The bad. All right, here we go. Here go the bad right now. It's third and five. First quarter, 635 left in the game. They got to be able to get past this yellow line. That is the first down marker. Like I told you, Nebraska's defense at the very beginning did an excellent job, uh, you know, changing it up, showing a lot of different looks. Okay, here's just a mishap right here. Just a, a mishap on the throw. Kind of sails on Shador a little bit. He turns back late and he drives it. 
end up punting the ball. Again, another empty look. Here's the pressure. You're starting to feel the pressure right here. They're bringing guys, bringing an extra guy. Nobody blocks the interior guy. Remember, the most dangerous person is the person closest to the ball. That's exactly what happens. Shadow has to throw that under duress. A lot's going on. Misses that third and 15. Got to punt the ball. Third and two. Get a little motion right there by Jimmy Horn. Again, another unblocked guy. But we don't get the blocking out front, right? They don't get the, the, the lead guys out front. And I know that uh, uh, Dylan Edwards on his screen, I think that was a TCU week, he kind of outran his blocking. He's got to sit in there, be just a little more patient. Let the big bodies get out in front of you first. You kind of beat them to the punch. So he declared himself early. If you kind of sit in here, once he can get that block, right now you can turn it back inside so i know you're a little happy feet one mississippi two mississippi then get up out of here and find the space right here behind these guys but third and two they come up with a big stop another punt situation for the buffs second and 10 1051 in the second i mean this is a big time throw right here by number seven like i said when he throws it and he does a good job throwing it it looks great but when it's bad, it's bad. The Buffs kind of lose the edge right here with seven. Not sure what he saw. Kind of went inside and stumbled a little bit. But great throw right there by him. Got to make that happen. All right, Jeff Sims, we all know that he's a big time runner. We got to always account for him, right? So if he's pulling this ball. We got to. If you're above, you got to make sure you account for this guy. I think 51 was just a little bit overzealous. Remember, it's a jet sweep. I always used to tell linebackers, inside linebackers do inside things. Outside linebackers do outside things. So if I'm an inside linebacker, knowing that he has a, a high possibility of running this ball up the gut, you start running outside. You give it to him right here up the line. So you make sure you want to be patient. You're not going to stop the cutback on this jet sweep. You got plenty of guys over here for that. Seven can be deadly with his feet if he don't self-destruct. All right, here we go. Third and nine. Another situation. Got to convert this deal. I put this here. You see it was a big mismatch. May have been a miscommunication between him and Travis. Not sure what it was. Has to throw this ball. He just kind of launches it, puts it out there for whatever reason. Wasn't really under any pressure to throw it at that point. Another third and fourth situation. Nebraska showed that they can get to the football and get to the football in a hurry. Remember, we're still in the second half. And Nebraska's defense did play pretty well in the first, I'm sorry, second quarter, first half. And they played extremely well in the first half of this game, right? Little receiver screen. But look how they convert to the ball. D lineman get back. And again, you have to settle for the field goal. That's how Colorado get got its first three points. Second and seven. Little run action right here. Reason I put this because it was straight up the gut. And I'll talk about it here. Right? Look at the formation. They got a bunch. You come here, you end up having two linebackers in one hole. And you got to make this play right here. Uh, number three. I think that's a Marion Cooper, if I'm not mistaken. You try to kind of got to get them off the football field. First and 10 for the buffs. Now, why did I put this as bad? This becomes a covered, kind of a coverage deal. Everybody's covered downfield, right? I get it. Shador gets down. But when we're in this situation, I mean, he comes up and they come up in a hurry and make a very good tackle. But again, you want to try to convert this thing and get up the field so you can get the first down. Here's another situation. Third and one. Third and one. Right? Here you are, four is barreling down, but you have to kind of know where you are. And I and I don't know if there's a miscommunication in here with the play calling because it's kind of like, well, what's going on? Nothing looks crisp. Kind of looks like I think they thought they were going to run this ball. I really think that's what they thought. They were kind of jogging off the line a little bit. And then once they saw him in trouble, they're like, okay, let's help out. Why? Because you also see him blocking. 
You see Weaver up top blocking. So I think there was a miscommunication there on third and one. So you got to definitely clean that up. But those could be big plays. That is the bad. Now let's get to the ugly. The ugly. All right, here we go. Colorado is up 13-0, 12 minutes left in the third quarter. What does that tell you? No ugly plays, really, by Colorado in the entire first half. Did not necessarily score a lot, but weren't really any ugly plays. So that's a good sign right there that there's some learning going on. All right, fourth and three. Fourth and three. Got to convert this deal. But we don't set the edge. We don't get the block. They come up, and they run in extremely fast to the ball. Little jet sweep action. I'm not sure if Travis should have pushed cracked. What do I mean? You see him screaming down. I'm going to push my guy and crack this dude. Push. You see him screaming, right? And now crack this dude. Because if he's in man, he's going to follow you inside. So you got to block. You got to outrun. If I push crack this guy, he doesn't make this play. You understand? So I think Travis Hunter should have pushed cracked him. I'm not sure what the design is. But again, off the field on fourth and three. You know, as, as coaches, if you decide to go for it on fourth down, you definitely want to convert those. You want to get 100%. All right, here we go. 12 and 17. We're going to see the big time deal here from Jeff Sims. And this is where he powers up. His legs are deadly. Let's go ahead and talk about this a little bit. Let's talk about, I think I got an end zone cut of this. Great job manipulating the defense. They see that you're playing it out in man. They're going to motion the guy across. Here's the funny thing. Two guys went with him, so they bump. Now you left the safety down here by himself one-on-one, -on -one, but you're thinking pass. By the time you figure out, that's the push crack I was just talking about earlier, right? Watch the push crack. He's going to push and then crack. Boop. And there you go. Off to the races, right? He's playing it. He sees it. Uh. And, and here's the thing about it. Because he's in man, he's going to follow him. So if I push and go in here, watch that. Travis goes inside. Before you know it, it's too late. It's a foot race. It's a foot race. Oh, here we go. Perfect end zone cut. You motion to run it back. He vacates. Nobody left back here, but I believe that's Trevor Woods. Now, watch this. Here's going to be big. He's here. He knows it's all the way a draw. Never going to throw this ball. There's the push crack. Travis Hunter goes inside. Seven is off to the races. And there you go. You have a touchdown by Nebraska Cornhuskers. Third and goal. You got to be able to convert these, baby. Right? Two takes a sack right here. It's not necessarily deadly when it comes to the field goal, but you want to convert this. You want to make a touchdown out of this. Um... Again, at hindsight is 20-20. We always Monday morning quarterback this deal. If Dylan Edwards goes out here and drives this as a flat route, it's easy touchdown. You got him out leverage. But that's not where his eyes were. They were looking at his crossing route. He's trying to hold the ball, make it happen. Just protects the rock. Like I say, you know, Nebraska was fired up, man. But one thing I will say about Shador Sanders, he's going to protect the ball at all costs. Here you go. 158 left in the game. <clears throat> My man get Peter Roll back here. Simply just gets beat here off the edge. Just gets beat off the edge. Uh, takes it down. I'm not sure. I think he fumbled the ball. They gave that fumble up right there when it comes to Nebraska. Got to be able to block those guys. If they're going to come off the edge like that, let's make sure we block them. Okay. Coming off, he's looking here for the play. Never sees him coming. And it's over. But again, the game is 36 to 7. It's already out of hand at this point. Less than two minutes left. Third and three. Third and three. Come on, Buffs. Big time run right here. Big time run. Why is this important? I understand, like I say, game is out of hand. There may be some second team guys in here. But at the end of the day, it's what it is. Got to be able to sew this up. Look at this. Everybody's committed. It's going in there, 52 getting worked back here. I believe that's 52. He getting worked out, getting pushed back. He trying to play, uh, you know, hold the train, and that, that's not going to happen. And before you know it, he's there. 28 gets turned around, back outside, blocking downfield, tries to make a play right there on number three. 
I believe that's a Marion Cooper as well. Down to the five-yard line. Third and goal. Ten seconds left in the game, Buffs. Don't let them in. Don't let them in. Hey, low on the way, man. Catch, throws, great pressure. Low on the way right there. The big tight end, body down low. Let's be a little more aggressive. Remember, all I got to do is get right past this white line. We stand right there. We let him do what he wants to do. That's working. All right? And there you have it. That's a touchdown for Nebraska. As you see, the game ends out 36-7. to And that's your good, bad, and ugly. So all the Colorado Buffalo fans out there, I know you super excited. The Buffs are 2-0 right now and have done it in convincing fashion. Coach Prime and his staff have done a great job coaching this team, getting them ready. Next week, they take on Colorado State, the in-state rival, right there at Folsom Field. So with all that being said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, so you have all the latest content that comes out on this channel. Coach Hayes will catch you at the 50-yard line. Peace.